Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the B-Link SER5 mini PC with a 2.5 inch either SSD or hard drive. Now to do it is a little bit more complicated than you would expect from most other systems. Now one thing to keep in mind is that inside it actually has a SATA ribbon cable like this. Now the box comes with an extra one, you aren't going to need the extra one, it already has one installed. But I'm letting you know because if you try to pry off the bottom, you'll see that this cable is really small and really fragile so you could potentially damage it so again the extra one there is not needed but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening this by just unscrewing the four screws at the bottom and again carefully open the bottom panel you don't want to yank it off and potentially damage the cable that's in there now of course they do give you an extra one just in that potential situation that you do damage it but it's best to just try to avoid any potential damage to your hardware already but it's a really simple process you simply open the bottom panel by just unscrewing these four screws and it will take a little bit to try to get the panel off you kind of need to get your nails or preferably using some kind of card or anything like that to get underneath there to pull it off but once you've loosened it up you can actually get the panel off pretty easily but again be very careful with the ribbon cable it is surprisingly small so you have to be very very careful don't put too much force while trying to yank it off or anything like that again it is attached there and you have this little cage here where you simply just have to slide in the ssd now you again can do either an SSD or you can do a 2.5 inch hard drive. Keep in mind though that we do have limited expandability here and going with a hard drive is going to be pretty limiting in terms of speed and also density because you can actually get 2.5 inch SSDs that now come in all the way up to 4 terabytes at reasonable price points. But to actually install the SSD, just make sure that it is facing forward like that with the SATA port on the bottom side like this. And you slide it in because it will just plug into the actual adapter that is at the end there. And just like that, you are pretty much good to go. All you can do is just close it up. Now, of course, you do have access to the M.2 and the RAM as well. So it is the same process if you want to upgrade either one of those. And it's not a bad move to do that because you can also get M.2s that go all the way up to four terabytes. Just make sure that all the screws are lined up there, that you can see the gold there and you can just screw it back up and you're good to go. And just like that, you've pretty much got it up and running. Now, all we're pretty much going to have to do is plug this in and make sure that everything is functioning perfectly fine. And if we actually boot into the system here, you can see that if we just go to the disk management section in the control panel, if this is a brand new SSD, you'll see a new volume there with nothing there. Now, this is an SSD that I've used before, so it already has stuff on there, but you can see that it is at the top here. If you right click and it's something brand new, you'll be able to set up a brand new volume and then it's going to be functional. But outside of that, that's pretty much all you really need to do. Once we finally go into the actual file system here, we'll be able to actually see that the ssd is there and we're up and running it is a really simple upgrade and it actually lets you get some really really nice density in this system because if we get a four terabyte m.2 and a four terabyte 2.5 inch ssd we now have eight terabytes to work with in a really small package like this and you throw in some 32 gigabytes of ram and you have a powerhouse of a system with all six cores and 12 threads of this system itself so i hope you found this quick little upgrade guide useful if you did be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.